This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. This chapter covers how to add data to a map project, and it briefly discusses the differences between vector and raster data files. A GIS supports two basic types of data files, vector and raster. All vector data and some rasters can be used in analyses. Spreadsheets, word processing documents, PDFs, and other file types can be added to the map layout view. This includes JPEGs and bitmaps, which are also rasters, but they're only for display. GIS analyses cannot be performed with these file types. Let's begin with the Chapter 5 project. In Chapter 5, we created a geodatabase and imported some Mid-Atlantic shape files. But we didn't create a map. Let's add a map to our project. Click Insert, New Map. Notice that in addition to the Catalog tab, we now have a Map tab with the default base map. To add data, click Map, Add Data, Data. The Add Data dialog box opens. Since we have some of the data we need in the GeoDatabase, open the Databases folder under Project. Open the Chapter 5 GeoDatabase to show its contents. We'll add the Cities, Roads, and Counties Mid-Atlantic feature classes. You can add each individually, or you can add them all at once by control-clicking each feature class to select it, then clicking OK. The feature classes are added to the contents window so that point layers are displayed on top of line layers, which are displayed on top of polygon layers. You can always drag to reorganize them. Keep in mind that data can be added from different folders on the computer. For example, let's add data and add two more shape files from the data folder on the hard drive. Navigate using the folders listed under Computer in the Add Data dialog box. Scroll down to locate your Weather and Stats shapefiles and add them. Notice the organization of layers again. We may want the states layer below counties, so I'll just drag it down. A raster is added in the same manner. Using the Add Data dialog box, navigate to the folder with your raster data. Here, we are adding a single band, band 5, from a Landsat 8 image. Don't worry now about what Landsat or band 5 is. We'll discuss these in future chapters. The Landsat band was added to the bottom of the contents and is displayed in the map window, but underneath all of the other layers. You can see part of it here below the vector layers. That's all that's required to add vector and raster files to a map project. Please note that our data have different coordinate systems and datums. We'll discuss displaying data and coordinate systems in the next chapter.